Right. So we need to take the door cord off in order to get to the lock so we can change the lock. Uh, I've already taken off the window winder handle. So to remove this, underneath there's a bolt hole there and there's a bolt hole there. Now usually the cross headed screws or Phillips headed screws, on this one for some reason the bolts. Ford may have changed it or the door cord may have been off previously and someone's replaced it with bolts. So I'm using a 9mm socket on a quarter inch drive. I'm just going to go in, get the bolts in position, take them out of there, and then this should pull away from the side. It's a bit of a tight fit in the hole. I don't think I'm using the right size bolt, the right size socket rather, but it's one that fits. So I'm flat side out. And I'm just going to get this one out. the thread of the bolt at the back and it's not turning much but it might already be out. So sit out there for a moment. themselves are visible and if you can see that in there it was a it was a bolt just visible you can see the head of the bolt in there so they're staying in there so that's that all my section taken off now inside of this there is a Phillips head screw so I'm just getting shot for a minute once I get the screwdriver onto it There's a Phillips head screw just there on the other side of that. So we'll just take that screw out. It should give us the ability of moving the door pull. There we are. So the door pull handle comes off, the plastic trim comes off, and also got the also got the screw that goes back in. So what I'll do, so that I don't lose the screw, I'll put that back in the right hole for it. I'll just keep that in one place so I don't lose it. This should be alright there. And then the door cord should just be ready to drop off or pull off on its own once it's all unclipped. Now, on the clips of the door cord, the door cord's held in by things like this. Now, what they are, they're a little bit of twisted metal. You can see that. And there's, there's holes already punched or drilled into the door frame. So they go through the holes in the door frame and that wide part there obviously when it's in springs together and keeps that in place. Now on the other side we've got a hook and that hook bit, you can see it, that hooks inside of the door card itself. So it's all placed on there. Now 
to take the door cord off, as I said, you can see it's already loose and flopping. So those brackets that I showed, or the clips that I showed, are basically inside the door cord every so often up. Now you can find them by going so far up and then you need to put something at the lever it and give it a good tug. Try and get it to come out. They're more loosened on that side, and it's simply a way of going around the whole door cord, doing that along the bottom on both sides. And hopefully, you can see this. This one's a bit awkward because there's a door frame in the way. <coughs> so, you need to pull it, find out where the clamp is. We should be able to lift the door card up. So hopefully, you're going to be able to see. Right. And hopefully, hopefully, you can see from there. But the door card, once it's loose, just lifts up. off the door. And then that's what you're left with. <coughs> then on modern cars, you may find that this bit of brown paper that's attached to this is replaced with plastic. Now the is replaced with plastic, obviously plastic is a bit more waterproof than this is. As you can see, there's quite a few damp patches on this. So we'll just carefully remove this. Lost the paper off. So now you've got your naked door. Right then, so that's the door stripped down. Now I'm going to end it there because we're starting to lose the light. In part two, I'll take the old door lock out and replace it with the new one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.